Fellow auto detailers, welcome to the show that features interviews with today's most successful auto detailers. This is the Auto Detailing Podcast. Here's your host, Jimbo Balaam. Hey, it's Jimbo with the Auto Detailing Podcast coming back for another quick tip. Today's quick tip is to not underestimate the power of the rotary buffer or the rotary polisher. Now, it's uh, obviously really prevalent DA polishers, that is, and and that's becoming everyone's go-to polisher, um, and they can correct and do amazing things. And over the past five or seven years, it's crazy to see how far and how good just the DA polishers are becoming. And for that fact, uh, me personally, I try not to break out the rotary polisher because sometimes it just makes for more work. Um, So obviously my go-to is the DA. Now, um, there are a few guys in the industry like we've had on the show, like Matt Gibb, where they love the rotary, and that's perfect. And, And that takes a whole another skill set in and of itself. And there's even some polishes and compounds um, that I see on the market that are only to be used um, with a rotary. And, and the companies actually claim that you can finish out with a rotary. Now, that's awesome. DAs, I feel like, are a little bit uh, easier to work with. And, and they are. And there's less risk with a DA. But um, I thought about this this past weekend when I was working on uh, my father-in-law's uh, 53 uh, ragtop split window bug, a Zwitter that he's restoring and uh, I was going over there for a nice family barbecue and uh, he had just had the car painted and then color sand and buffed um, and there was just hologram spider webbing swirl marks everything um, that you can imagine uh, just clogging up the paint or making the paint look horrible so I said oh yeah I had all my equipment with me and we weren't really doing anything so I decided to kind of mess around on a test spot well, I w- as I was messing around, obviously my go-to is the DA, um, and I wasn't I wasn't able to uh, really get the level of correction that I wanted. Um, it was fine with him, which is funny, but I wasn't able to get the level of correction that I wanted in the paint. Um, so, and I tried all different combinations. Even went to uh, one of my really good go-to polishes, um, and even went down to M100. Um, on a microfiber cutting pad and I, for whatever reason, could have been technique, could have been, uh, totally my fault, whatever. It just wasn't cutting it. What literally and figuratively. So I decided to just step it up to the rotary. I'm like, I got nothing to lose. Let me just, again, I was just trying to test spot. So I didn't really, uh, matter too much. So I tried to test spot with the rotary and I threw on a Meguiar's, one of their new burgundy pads, um, and M100. Um, and I got the paint perfect. And then my second thought was crap. I got the paint perfect. Now I got to do the whole car. So <laughs> ended up spending a good portion of my sa- Sunday, uh, correcting the paint on that bug, but it was phenomenal. But, you know, I hadn't broken out the rotary in a long time. Um, and it kind of reinvigorated my love for the rotary. Um, I'm just so often using the DA and stuff like that. But when I broke out that rotary, it was like meeting up with an old friend again and I loved it. So, um, I would encourage you guys who maybe haven't touched a rotary in a long time to definitely, uh, break it out, check it out, you know, hone your, your skill with the rotary, make sure you still got it. It's kind of like riding a bike. Once you put it back in your hand, it, you just remember, um, but, uh, yeah, don't, you know, don't underestimate the power of the rotary. The thing worked phenomenal, completely corrected out the paint. Uh, the biggest bummer was that I had to spend the rest of my Sunday doing it. Um, and I was actually looking forward to just relaxing that day, but uh, Hey, that's for another, another time. So, uh, yeah, get acquainted with your rotary and, uh, have fun with it. It was, it actually really was a ton of fun to polish out the whole car with the rotary, um, just because I hadn't done it in so long. So the quick tip for today is if you haven't picked up your rotary in a while, pick it back up, play with it, do some test spots, polish out a car with it, just hone that skill too. There is just so much talk um, only concerning DAs that 
uh, guys are, are thinking that rotaries are becoming obsolete, um, but they're not. And there is definitely a place for rotaries. And we've talked a lot about that on the show. So break out that, that rotary polisher, wipe the dust off and have some fun with it. Thanks for listening to another episode of the Auto Detailing Podcast. Head on over to autodetailingpodcast.com to read our full show notes, blog posts, updates, and even sign up for our newsletter so you can be the first to hear about the latest and greatest all things Auto Detailing Podcast. And don't forget, if you leave us a rating and review on iTunes, it'll help us reach other auto detailers just like you, and you may even get a shout out at the top of a future episode. Thanks for listening. We'll see you on the next episode.